Hello everyone, today I will show you how to do embedded development using virtual hardware. We will use VOCV to create a simple embedded project. So let's start. First I will create a ESP32C3 project. I like this one because it supports uh, STDs. I have uh, more features to use from the Rust embedded ecosystem. Once I click uh, new, it will start a brand new project uh, with a simulated hardware on the right side and some code on the left side. Once I save, it will give it a project ID, which you can see in the URL bar. I cannot name it yet. It has a default name, but if I go into my projects, I see sketch.ino uh, and I can rename it. Uh, let's call it Blinky because I want to do the most basic example possible. Great. So now I open Blinky. I, the code on the left side is Arduino C code. I will ignore it for now. It does run. Uh, you see it uh, prints LN something and if I run the simulation I see the same string uh, printed down uh, but I will want to use Rust so I, I will ignore the code what I'm very interested in though is in the simulation and you can see I have the actual hardware and I can move it around and the neat part is I can add components uh, because it's a blinky let's add an LED and uh, you can see you can change colors and you can change different values uh, in order to make an LED work let's uh, add a resistor and let's connect uh, ground and VCC. I will use ground and VCC from um, uh, the microcontroller, but for now, just for test purposes, I will connect them directly. Great, we have ground and VCC. And at this point, I can see how to connect them around. If you don't exactly remember, it doesn't matter because it's a test. So I will connect them uh, probably wrongly at the first. So let's see what happens. And I run the simulation and you see the LED is not lighting up. That is fine. Let me delete the connections and make uh, connections that actually make sense. There's an LED that is connected uh, correctly and it turns on. Excellent. Now what I would like to do is uh, instead of uh, the LED being always on, I would like to uh, make my sketch turn it on and off. So I'll connect the LED to one of the pins, let's say pin 2. Make sure that you save and uh, what will happen actually, this uh, all this diagram will be saved and uh, you can view it and edit it. Uh, in some cases the UI allows you to edit values, like I can change the LED color, let's say I can make it green or red or whatever color I want. Uh, however, for other things like the resistor value, you can only edit in line and that's fine. Like for example, if I want a 2K re resistor, I can uh, write two over here, 2000. I'll keep it as a, as a default. So now I have a simulation uh, where my uh, ESPC3 has a pin 2 connected to an LED. I'm happy with that and let's get started with uh, developing uh, some program uh, for this ESPC3. The way I will approach it is that I, I will go into the ESP IDF template and see how uh, to get started. Uh, I can go over a lot of this, you can install the cargo subcommands, I already did this. The main part, the most important part is probably doing the cargo generate and I will do that. And let's call this uh, project Blinky. I want to use uh, 4.4, I want to use the ESP32C3 and use STD because I want lots of features and I want dev containers because this will install everything I need in the development container and it makes compilation faster or easier at least, I don't uh, require packages. The project has been created so uh, let's start Visual Studio Code and edit it. When I start Visual Studio Code, it will ask me whether I want to reopen this in a container. Uh, the container will have all the Rust uh, things installed. So I'll click yes. And this will take a while. It has to start the dev container and install various things. Once the dev container is uh, created, it will have uh, all prerequisites installed. And if you look at uh, the Docker file inside .dev container, it will tell you what it actually does. Among other things, uh, you can see that it uh, installs the VOCV server, so we can run everything from inside the container. I don't want updates right now. And uh, let's go into source. So into source right now, this just runs hello world. 
And the other thing that is edited by the template, and this is what got me to Vokvi in the first place, is there is a run Vokvi script. And uh, it, within the script, uh, you can see what it does. Uh, an interesting part is it has a project ID. So at this point, I will go into my new Blinky project. I will copy the project ID. And I will paste it over here. Then I will open a terminal. The terminal uh, runs in the container by default. You can see this because the Blinky is in ho the home directory, which is not what I have on my system. So uh, scripts run Wokwi, and I will run the debug version. Compilation took a while, but you can see it says hello world. And I would like to double check that this is really from Rust code. So I will stop this with control C. I'll go into main and let's say hello world from Rust. And run again. And you can see it starts up and it says hello world from Rust. And uh, we have full control and we have a full simulation, which is neat. So net, now let's uh, make Blinky work. To make Blinky work, uh, first of all, let's uh, add uh, some more crates uh, to, the pro to the project. So I'll do cargo add. We'll add uh, ESP IDF HAL and embedded HAL because I, I want to use a hardware abstraction layer to toggle GPIOs. Everything was added. And now at this point, I would like to uh, enter a loop. So what I'm thinking is I will get the peripherals, get LED. I would like to get the LED peripheral and then loop, loop and blink. So uh, it will use uh, some sort of a loop. And I will uh, sleep for a while. Let's say STD. So what I will do, I will sleep and I will toggle. The println is the wrong location, so let's put it on top. And uh, let's uh, do the peripheral uh, getting. I am taking the peripherals and I'm unwrapping them because I don't care about errors or I don't think there will be any errors here. Um, I don't need to do uh, error checking at this stage. I need the pins. Next, I need the LED because I will toggle it. Uh, it has to be mutable. The LED should be an output because I, I want to set it an error and uh, to set uh, it on and off. And uh, you can see it returns an error, so I will unwrap this as well. At this point, I have an LED. I need to toggle it. If I if I do LED dot toggle, it should import uh, some traits. You can see that it complains that uh, I don't have uh, error checking. Let's unwrap. And let's try to see it if it runs and compiles. So uh, let's do run Wokwi. You can see we run, uh, we do hello world from Rust and the LED is blinking as expected. That was it. I hope you found this interesting or useful or maybe both. Have a great day.